what is up good morning today we're testing out this new camera this action camera we're headed out to get some breakfast and let's go the action camera i'm talking to you about is the yi action camera it goes for 3000 philippine pesos online now it's as basic as it comes it can shoot 60 frames per second for slow motion at 1080p it can shoot higher than 1080p at 30 frames per second more like quad hd but not yet full 4k now it's very basic it doesn't have a screen at the back nor can you do much in the settings surprisingly it doesn't bother me at all now i'm gonna explain to you why but for now, I need to pack my stuff because the family is going to a mini vacation. We are staying at Bai Hotel for the weekend and it's a great opportunity to test out this camera. <laughs> Alright, we're now in the hotel. We're now in their lobby. We're waiting for our check-in and uh, see you guys inside the room. Alright, we're here. Oh yeah. Ah, we also got another door here connecting us to the other room which is uh, mommy and the kids are staying. Um, yeah, miss, na, na ako sa room 1521 and then sa 1523 is ah, kami po ang nag, uh, nag, nag and then gina, ng mga key sa door in between sa adjacent room po. Okay, thank you. They said uh, housekeeping will be coming and they're bringing the key to that door which is connecting us to the other room where mommy and the kids are staying so fun now back to the topic talking about the Yi action camera the reason why I'm not bothered that it doesn't have a screen at the back is whenever I'm vlogging and I'm using a camera on dry land I usually have my DSLR with me which I'm shooting right now or need be I'll use my phone I'm only gonna use this when I'm on water and whenever I'm gonna use it I know that I'm not checking the clips on water so I'll usually review it when I'm off water and by then I have my phone with me and then I can connect it using an app to the Yi action camera so I can review my clips set the settings and all that but I might want to inform you that I downloaded the app for the Yi action camera on the iOS I don't know if it's specifically with my phone but it kept crashing a hundred percent of the time so I downloaded an app on the Android phone and it worked by then so the Yi action camera great pairing with Android phones now we're here at the pool at the rooftop pool as you can see we're gonna test out the Yi action camera in a while so let's go Now 
Now I don't know how this uh this clip would look like, but later on after I get off the pool, I'm gonna check the clip and I'm gonna test it if it looks great underwater. But for now, it's functioning great. The case is protecting the E action camera. There's no water getting into it, and yep, it's effective. And later on, we'll check the clip. We'll review if the quality is great underwater, and also we'll review the audio inside the case of the E action camera. <laughs> To end the video regarding the Yi Action camera, if you want to start vlogging and taking videos with just one camera, specifically with just one action camera, I would highly recommend to save up and buy the more expensive GoPro because with that you get better image quality and better audio. If you're the kind of person who has a vlogging camera already but want to get an inexpensive one for extreme conditions, I would highly recommend to you to check out the Yi Action camera. It's great, it's inexpensive, and you don't have to worry about bringing it in extreme conditions. Now with that being said, I hope you liked the video, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and lick that like button, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.